Good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank you all for coming uh, today uh, to the groundbreaking, and we're going to do our best to, uh, to beat the rain. Um, I want to acknowledge some of the folks that are here today. So first, uh, uh, Kendall and Michael Schofield. Uh, trustees Milani and Katsinas and Compass are here as well. And uh, Chief Schofield is here as well in the crowd. So thank you, and thank you all for coming. Thank you uh, from the all the pioneers that are here, all the members of uh, our uh, Rec Advisory Board that are here. So it's great that everyone could be here. Um, a little background. So I, I grew up here, as, uh, as some of you did, like, like Michael and uh, Kendall nearby. And uh, Schuessler Park was actually built in the early 60s, and it was built by volunteers. So this was donated by the builder that built Fernway over here. And they, uh, the volunteers, they got sod from a sod farm that was donated, uh, fencing from Ace Hardware at the time. The then trustee uh, Dugan got a lot of equipment and they came out and moved it and they built those baseball fields back here. When I was a kid, that's where we played. These were the only place where we had a full size Pony League field. So the volunteers built this entire park. And that's what Orland Park was, was just a very small community of volunteers. Um, the pioneers, I was around when the pioneers were first formed. So way back then, in about 1974, 75, uh, my dad actually was a village board member and he lost his election. And the pioneers, there were no pioneers, it was St. Michael's. Well, St. Michael's decided to join a Catholic league and anyone who was not Catholic could not play in the league. So the question was, how do we get the other half of the kids that are in this program to have football? And back then, uh, a group of volunteers got together and they put together a board to build the pioneers. My dad coming off the, at being a trustee was asked to be the president. And he said, absolutely not. I don't want to go to meetings about scheduling and everything else. Make me the vice president. I'll raise you money because you need money for equipment. He also had a very good relationship, obviously, with then Mayor Dugan. And they agreed to find a place for them to play. And so what is now Dugan Park is where we played as the pioneers. I have the distinction that no one else can ever take away from me. I, uh, I played in the first Pioneer football game, but I also got the first Pioneer penalty ever on the opening kickoff for not having your mouthpiece in. And I can still hear Coach Irwin, and some of you have been involved for the Pioneers for a long time, uh, know that he had a long history. I can still hear him yelling my name. Football, well, I stopped playing after eighth grade. I decided to play golf when I got to high school and baseball and basketball instead of football, which obviously looked at me probably a good decision. Um, it's still an important part of my life because I learned a lot playing football. When you play with a team of, you know, when you play basketballs with five people, you might like them all. I promise you, when you have 30 people on your football team, you don't like everybody. You don't get along with everybody. But you have to play together as a team when it comes to game day, and they're still part of your team. It doesn't matter if you're best friends on the other team. Today, at this time, this is your team, and you play together, and you play to win. You learn discipline, you learn structure, you learn how to get coached because back then in particular, football coaches yelled more than any, they probably still do. And you learn how to take coaching, you learn how to, how to get better at what you do. So those were all important things for me in, in, my, entire, in my, my entire life. I mean, I think of the time that I, when I flew in the Air Force, every single, 95% of the people who flew, flew fighters in the Air Force played a varsity sport in high school of some kind. Some were stars, some just made the team. But it's those team skills that they learned at a young age, whether it's high school or before that, that made a huge difference in their life. For me, it's great to see both the Pioneers and Schuessler Park meet together. It was very important to me when I got here, anybody who remembers when I first ran, I said the Pioneers need a place that's built for them. They've been here for 49 years and still don't have a field that's been dedicated and built around their program. And sure, it'll be used for other things, but it will actually be built and designed with them in mind so that they have a great place to, to practice and play. So it's very exciting to see that. And then on top of that, our partnership with the Schofield Foundation and Michael and Kendall is fantastic. I can think of nothing better because here's two people as well that in their respective communities 
sports and the local community played a huge part in their life and growing up. And it shows all these kids that are playing of what can be achieved if you dedicate and spend the time and effort and discipline to, to get better at your craft. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you're a professional football player or if you're an Olympic hockey player or you fly in the Air Force. It doesn't matter. Whatever you do, you have to spend that time. You have to be dedicated in order to be good at what you do. So with that, I would like to celebrate the partnership we have with, with Kendall and Michael, which includes naming this the Schofield, uh, the Schofield, excuse me, the Michael Schofield III Sports Complex, but also they're going to help raise funds for an all-access playground that's also going to go alongside of it. So with that, I'd really like to turn it over to Michael and Kendall, and they can talk about what this means to them. Got to raise the mic a little bit here. I'll just go. I'll, I'll lean over. <laughs> you can tell who the professional football player is. <laughs> um, kind of like a lot when Mayor Peacow said, uh, Kendall and I started the Schofield Family Foundation a couple years, many years ago, um, and our goal was always leave an impact on the community. And I can't think of a more meaningful thing than what we're doing here with this football uh, complex. Um, I started off with the Pioneers when I was in sixth grade, and it's a funny story, I never wanted to play football, I always thought I was going to be a baseball player. And then my brother, Andrew, who's younger than me, ended up going to sign up, and the coaches were like, uh, well, why aren't you signing up? Because I, you know, I was pretty tall, and luckily they convinced me to sign up for football, and uh, so I guess the rest is history there. But uh, this is something we're really looking forward to, um, probably one of the most exciting things we've done with our foundation. We've built a park in Payless and kind of made an all-inclusive park there. And we're going to try to do a lot of those same things here where anyone and everyone can use this park here. And I think that's one of the most important things. There's not enough parks like that around this area. So we're really trying to focus on that. And obviously, the football field, a lot like Mayor Peacock said, these kids are going to learn so many lessons playing football. It's the greatest team sport in the world. Every single play, all 11 guys have to be doing their job. And there's really not a sport like that that teaches these kids life lessons like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm just excited. I, like I said, I started off with the Pioneers. You know, I had always dreams once I started playing football to play in the NFL. And you never know who the next kid will be growing up on this field and has a chance to play in the NFL. And I hope to see many kids, you know, that are Pioneers and lucky enough to play in the NFL like me. And uh, I'll leave the rest and turn it over to Kendall. Sure. Thank you, Michael. I think hockey's a pretty good team sport too. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, um, but no. Just to just to echo uh, what Michael said, we're extremely excited. We're honored uh, to partner um, with the city um, for this complex uh, to help raise funds for the all-inclusive park, so that no matter any kid who wants the opportunity to come to this park, they know this is a place that that they can play and that they belong. And um, you know, you look at the kids standing behind us. You never know which one of them is maybe maybe it goes into the NFL one day or becomes a scientist. But for us and the foundation of our life, definitely start through sport and through sport we've been able to do so many incredible things beyond an Olympic gold medal and winning a Super Bowl those are the things that everyone loves to talk about but what we love are the, the the friends we've made along the way the experiences we've had the places we've gone and standing in front of all of you here today uh, because without sports that wouldn't be bringing us wouldn't bring it wouldn't we wouldn't be together probably um, but we definitely wouldn't be here and so um, I think that's such an important lesson for all the kids here that is sports are so far beyond the wins and the losses it's the experiences that you have and uh, we know any kid that comes to this park in the future is going to um, hopefully hopefully leave with a dream to that'll change their life and like like the dreams that we had and how they've changed ours so thank you so much we're really excited and uh, let's get digging <laughs> with that obviously the microphone was set up for Kendall um, with that we're all gonna come up here and uh, and do the groundbreaking so thank you all again for coming out and uh, and uh, sticking around for, uh, for the groundbreaking ceremony.